Hello! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. Um, for the for the main part, for the tarot part, I'm going to use the Astro Matrix tarot. The website on the back here, there's verbiage there, but the website's at the bottom, astromatrix.org, I believe. They're there at the bottom. Um, there's also the artists, the creator, and the QR code. Uh, thank you for the people who put that in the comments <laughs> last week because I could not remember the name of that but here's the QR code for this one if you're interested the oracle cards you are clairvoyant oracle cards by Belinda Grace illustrations by Elaine Marzen website rockpoolpublishing.com.au A as an apple, U as an umbrella and I also use dice um, I use a 21 sided for the major arcana which does omit zero but I make it work. I believe it came from this place, uh, the dice shop. And if I can get it close enough, you can see mathartstuff.com. Math art, no, math art, math art, fun.com. Hopefully you can see that if you're interested. The smaller dice, I have a 14-sided dice that I use for the minor arcana. And I use a four-sided dice to choose the suit. Um, that's from here, Tom Anders. There is some information there. Hopefully I can get it close enough so it'll focus and you can see it if you're interested. I want to say there's like a website there, but I can't see it. This one also has a QR code. Here's the QR code for that one, if I can hold it still. All right, that's what we have for the materials. Um, of course, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email. James for astral at gmail.com. That's James the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Hello, Taurus. Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Taurus? This is interesting. There's, okay, I'll just leave it like that. There's stress here. Not because anything is going bad, but I feel like this is very similar to um, Capricorn. Because I can't, I can't prove that I, can, I should believe in this. I can't prove to myself or anybody else that I should believe in this. But it's working. The thing is, because I can't prove it, I don't know how long it's going to last. Will it last forever? I guess it's possible, but I can't tell you why. Could it end tomorrow? Same thing. I, it's possible. I couldn't tell you why. Um, Taurus is a very strong energy and is usually very, very self-sufficient. At least that's the Taurus energy I'm used to. Um, you do work with others, you do gather information with others, but you, you, you keep ahead of the game. You have processes and things, the way you do them, you have things set up in a certain way, and you know where things are. And I feel like it's a Taurus thing to have the backup plan. Like, the backup plan has a backup plan, which has a backup plan. Like, I have things set aside, and I know where to go, and I know what I need to know, and if things don't go the way they're supposed to, I'm not going to be happy about it, but I will still make it through. Um, very self-sufficient. It's the lack of foundation. It really does remind me a lot of uh, Capricorn. <laughs> I think this is going to go a different direction, but it's reminding me there must be something with that energy and Earth energy at the moment. Um, something is coming back. Hmm. Something is coming back. Or is it coming back, or are you thinking it's coming back? You got this, um, the judgment card, but I'm noticing the phoenix, and it makes me feel like something is something's returning. Um, and I'm wondering, all right, is that, are we getting that right? I feel like something's returning. And that is, he's going way over there. Um, somebody else is making this decision. It's not you. And I'm not really sure about their motives. I do feel like somebody's coming back. Somebody's coming back, but I'm really not sure if it's good or not, and I really don't know why. Um, it's I don't feel like I'm upset with it. I feel like it's actually the 
opposite, which might make it a little worse. I actually like them. The thing is, I don't know. They kind of fly by the seat of their pants. This isn't, maybe this is what this is all about. It's because this person flies by the seat of their pants. I do like them. I'd like to be able to believe in them like they're going to stay, but who knows how long they will. They could be here two days, two years, two decades. I'm. They could stay for the rest of their life. I would, I just, I don't know what, I don't know what goes on in their head to make them make a decision. I know what you would make. It's kind of like, I know what I would make, for example, uh, for the Taurus energy. I know how I would think. I know why I would do this. I know why, why, why this, why that, why other thing. But this other person, I don't, I don't know what motivates them. They're here today. They can stay for a long time. They're all of a sudden gone in two seconds. I have no idea what makes them do that, but they do that. They have done that. I've seen them do that with other people. Have they done that with you? Have they done that with you or just other people? That's the question. Have they done this with uh, Taurus? Do, do, do. It goes all the way over there. Um, not directly. I feel like... I feel like in, in conjunction. I don't know. Maybe working with other people. They've kind of left on other people. Which has kind of affected you in like an exponent or like an, a like a detached way, but still affected you. Um, I feel like it's been more other people that they've just kind of up and gone when they've had, they've had to, they've decided they had to. And I feel like I'd like to understand more. I'd like to get closer to this energy to understand it, but at the same time, I'm not really sure that I could understand it. Um, they run the way they run. Whoever this energy is, by the way, they do like you. They also realize that you don't do things the same way. They tend to keep a little bit of a distance, even though they very much like you, because they know that the way they do things and the way you do things doesn't really match. So I feel like they do keep like a, a comfortable distance, but they try to stay fairly close. They do like you, very much like you, but they're like, well, the way Taurus does things is not the way I do things. And I want us to keep liking each other, so if we don't get too, too close, but we stay friendly, things could go well. The thing is, I think they're going to cross that line and get closer to you, even though this might be part of that random energy. That's normally how they work. They keep a distance, not in anything negative, just because you do things your way, they do things theirs, and they don't want to make it a conflict. But I'm getting that they are crossing that line, and I feel like, okay, we're getting closer now. We're doing things closer together, and it's going well, and it might be this might be the current energy. It's going very well. It's prosperous. But, like, this is, like, that fog area, like... Sometimes the Seven of Cups talks about dreams or possibilities or illusions. The thing is, I don't know what's real. I don't know why. I don't know why this is happening. I don't know why they're doing it. That's creating stress. Even though it's a good moment and good things are happening right now, I'm stressed because I don't know what we're doing here. I don't know why we're doing it. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Like, why are they here? How long are they here for? Um, there's a, it's, it's good. Like, there's nothing really bad. But I'm like, I don't know what we're doing. Um, you got the moon card. <laughs> I mean, these readings are valid for when you come to them, but we're on Pisces season, and that's the Pisces card. Um, I feel blocked. I just, I'm not grounding myself in this connection. I'm not, I'm not depending on what's going on right now. I'm kind of like, all right, it's a bonus right now. I like it, but it's, just, it's a bonus. I'm not depending on it. I'm not planning to keep getting it. I'm just enjoying it while I have it. But it's a good it's a good break for you. Ironically, you're stressed over it though. So it's kind of like things are easier. Like on paper, things look easier. We should put it that way. But emotionally, because I can't count on it, I don't feel like I can count on it. It doesn't feel easier to you. It's very ironic. All right, so as we keep going forward, like where is this going is a great question. Great question. They do like you. We already know that. I think I already showed this too. You do like them. They like you. You like them. You have the lover's card. They have the two of cups. doesn't have to be romantic, but it's basically saying you really much like this person. You just want to believe in that. You don't know how you could. All right. So it becomes, I think we get to a standstill here. And it's kind of like, I, I need to know what's coming next. And I feel like you're going to have a conversation with them and you're going to tell them, I feel like when I get the strength card with the gratitude, I feel like I'm being very honest with this person. Like, you know, I love having you around. I love what's going on here, but I got to be honest with you. I don't, I don't know what you're going to do next. 
um, do you know what you're going to do next? Because <laughs> I don't. Um, and I feel like there's some version of that conversation where I'm trying to, like, get more information. Like, do you plan on staying? Do you plan on keep going with... Is this something you plan to anchor in? Is that even... Do, do you do you anchor into things? Like, does is that even, like, realistic for you? I feel like you're having a tough conversation. Not tough like anybody's going to be upset, but kind of like... It's tough in the sense of, like, bringing it up, but also, like... I believe they'll tell me the truth, but how long does that truth last? Like, you know, is it like is it like milk? You can only keep it so long before it spoils? Like, they can tell me the truth, and maybe this truth will last for the next two, three months. They don't plan to go anywhere else. They have no plans to go anywhere else. They want to stay. But if something different comes their way, is that going to change their mind? They're saying don't get overstressed with it. Don't get overstressed with it. This might be an uncontrollable situation. Um, don't get overstressed with it. Even though this is a um, success through stress, stress, I don't feel like that's going to work here. I feel like I can't, even if I get the right answers, even though they're going to tell me the truth, I know that this could change. So they're saying don't stress over it any more than you have to, or at least don't try to like, don't try to anchor it down because I feel like the anchors, no matter how much you anchor it down, I just don't feel like it's dependable. This is what to do. Enjoy it while it lasts. See it as a bonus. If we're doing like a work situation, for example, maybe you're getting extra $300 a week. Take it, just put it to the side, save it for a rainy day, and just keep saving it till it stops happening. Um, just enjoy it for what it is, but don't count on that money. Just keep putting it to the side. Just keep putting it to the side. Like, if, For example, if it was actually money... If it was a work thing, you're getting extra $300 a month, week, month, whatever it may be. Maybe set up an extra little savings account to the side and just keep putting it over there. Keep putting it over there until the situation doesn't seem to be doing it anymore. That's the advice. Because if, you, if, you if it was tangible money and you weren't letting it go into your main bank account, you just kept putting it over into the side savings account. Every time it shows up, you just immediately move it over there. Show it up again. Okay, good. Immediately move it over there so that you don't see it and you don't think about it until it's over. And then when it's over, then do something with it. Like, okay, that's all I'm getting. That's all I'm going to get from that. Now that I see what it is, now I'll decide what to do with it. Because there's no information coming in at this point. I mean, it's a general read. But the situation is going to last for a while, at least two to three months. It could last a lot longer, but at this point... I feel like I just have to watch the, the social cues of this person. When I'm getting community, I'm getting social cues. And I'm getting like, it's just kind of where it is for right now. This person's going through some, some information, some growth, some community. I don't know. I feel like you have to watch them and just watch how they're reacting to other people. They might be a poker face type of person. The world does show up. And I do get the Knight of Cups reversed. I do think this situation does have a shelf life. I was trying not to say it. I was hoping not. But I do. Feel, but it, it's questionable. This could last three months, three years. Three months. It could last up to three years. But it's like if you just kind of like keep putting it to the side and kind of like just enjoying it for what it is. Like the money analogy is the best one I can do. Even if it's three years... Who knows, every week for three years, every month for three years, it's $300 extra. After that's ended and you see how much you have, once it's stopped, you'll, you'll be able to make the good, a, good, um, a good choice. So, for example, I feel like if it was three years, for example, you got $300 every week. So what is that, like $1,200 a month? Like, you know what I mean? That's, that's going to add up to some good money. If you didn't touch it that whole time, you have a good chunk of money and you're like, well, I'm glad I wasn't just spending it as if it was just like play money because now I have a su substantial chunk and now that I know that's all there's going to be, now I can apply it to things that I want it to because I know because I have this amount, you know, that's all. I, I feel like I because I saved it and now it's done, I know what I want to do with it because that's all there's going to be versus, you know, if I was just kind of letting it go here, letting it go there, and then I look back and like, oh, it lasted for three years. I, I would have had X amount of dollars. 
you know, that would have been like, you know, I don't know, I'm not, for some reason I'm not trying to calculate it, but I think I like it would have been over 30,000. I'm like, I could have done something with that. I could have maybe bought a car with that or something if I had handled it. That's why they're saying, enjoy it for now, but like if, if, if it was tangible money, put it to the side and just wait till it stops coming in and then make your decision what you want to do with it. Um, it does seem to have a shelf life. Even if it's, for example, three weeks. After three weeks, you know it stopped, you got $900. I don't know. It just feels like I, I feel more stable with that. I feel like I enjoyed it for what it was. All right, are we good? I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.